hi there welcome to my channel my name is Angela and if you weren't already aware this is reading off my shelf please grab a cup of coffee I have uh, like I say it's actually instant coffee it, it's uh, Costa instant coffee I, I do like their, their instant coffees and then I've done some frothy milk um, for it but to be quite truthful we've well, got like the milk I say the milk frother the electric one I, I think I prefer it when I um, just heat the milk up with it rather than frothing because I feel you get a nicer cup of coffee but once in a blue moon I do like to uh, have a bit of froth on my coffee my new mug um, I've got this from the Globe Shakespearean Globe in London um, ordered it online um, I'd seen it in somebody's I think somebody had recently done a trip to the Globe or a tour of it and I'd seen it when they were in the shop part of the the video and thought I really do like that mug um, it does have a seed inside and I can't remember what it is and obviously I'm drinking my coffee so this is I was gonna say the week that was um, as I mentioned I actually think I filmed last week so you I think you got a video last week um, that was my review of uh, the trouble with mrs montgomery hurst but as i mentioned i am just going to do videos when i'm feeling up to it um so i'm not going to have any schedule hopefully i'm going to you know hopefully i maybe at least get one video out a week we don't know but please bear with me at the moment um i did sort of tr well i did try and film three videos that day i'd filmed that i'd filmed a one that i need to upload and edit and get sorted which is a new book box and i can't think what you call it it's over there but i can't see the name um and i also filmed a little bit of a uh waterstones haul i'd received some items but i tried to film that seven times kept making mistakes and just gave in with it i actually got about three books there and for the life of me i can't remember what the third one was um i've got two of them here actually i wonder if it was that one i'm talking to myself don't worry um <clears throat> so yes so my videos are going to be if and when and as I say I do appreciate it if you bear with me. So what have I read? Um, well I, like I say I finished, I must have finished I think last Saturday morning. Um, the Trouble with Mrs. <coughs> Sorry I'm going to cough now. Mrs. Montgomery Hurst. This is by Katie Lumsden. I also mentioned, oh it's not there now. I don't know where I've moved it to. There it is there. That I had, uh, it's the same author of The Secret at Heart. Heartwood Hall um, which I read last September oh, I'm back up there but I, I read this, this is more um, where that's more a little bit more gothic, this is more scandal society, gossip friendship, it's more you know it's, so it's set in 1841 and we are just basically looking at a small town and for the life of me I keep forgetting what I call it and I've probably still got the book upside down as I did in the first video um, and of course you can never find the map which I couldn't in the first video I'm not going to look for it but anyhow if you are interested I will try and remember and link that review down below but for me if we were given stars this would be five stars I thoroughly enjoyed it took me a couple of re weeks to read but like I say, said it's uh, I think it's more to do with my mood at the moment as opposed to the book so would recommend it it's very I think it's accessible it's very accessible writing that is set in this period it is lovable characters you've got a rogue you've got a romance you've got weddings you've got balls it's it, worth reading recommend that thoroughly and I think there's been a lot of talk about that recently that came out in July July yeah I finished yesterday Thursday um Jenny Corgan's The Cafe by the Sea this is a proper battered uh, copy I bought this second hand I may well have actually got it um 
from a I don't think I got it from a charity shop because I wouldn't have picked it up like that. I think I bought it off Amazon with the idea that I knew I wasn't going to keep it. I do actually love that cover as well. I do think that's quite a pretty cover. Um, but this is the first in the series of the Mer. I think it's the island. Uh, it's a quiet Scottish island. Um, and it is, it's the first in the series. So I had read later books. I'd read the, I can't remember if it's called Christmas on the Island and the Christmas Hotel. Um, I have the Island Wedding to read. But then I realised, as I say, when I was looking, that there was books before. So I think it was this one, which is the first one. And I think it's called Endless Beach, which is the second one. And then it went to the books that I have read. So I decided to go back to the beginning, as I say, bought this from Amazon. Wasn't bothered it was particularly a battered up copy because I wasn't planning to keep it. Um, whether again, am I using, you know, is it a, a kind of reading slump, a, a mood reading at the moment? Um, I didn't feel like I enjoyed it as much. Now, I don't know whether that's because this was the first in the series and maybe she hadn't developed the series or the characters as much i certainly thoroughly enjoyed and i have kept the as i say i think it's called the island christmas um so i have kept the other books and i do think they might be hardbacks as well um but certainly for me this was probably more of a, a three star i didn't enjoy it as the other as, as i say as much as the other ones and it is the beginning of it it's like we say we've got um flora who has fled scotland this island to work in London as a paralegal, I think she is, and for various reasons she comes back to the island to work for um, a millionaire. It's going. To, the plan is it being a very short term. So we look at um, why she left the island. We look at her family. We look at the community, um, and obviously there's a cafe by the sea. So I did enjoy it. Again, I wouldn't um, reread it. I think I might sort of continue through after I read the, I think it's called The Endless Beach, the second one. I have got it. Um, and then continue and read the ones I'd already read. So I've read all the series, so some of them will be a reread. But it's just kind of, it, it, it it's worth reading. If you like Jenny Coleman, I think, like I say, I don't know, mood, whatever, but I have enjoyed the other ones more. I'm going to have a drink of coffee. So, I have other books. So, like I've said, um, I am trying to just kind of mood read. So, I have put next to my bed the second book, um, the Before the Co Coffee Gets Cold, Tales from the Cafe. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the author i've read the first one and my idea being that i put this next to the bed because the different i say different stories obviously it's one book but it, it's different people's stories i thought I'd put up pick up put down kind of book um so that's by my bed i haven't actually started that yet i have also last night put next to me the agatha christie murder of roger Ackroyd. that's the first Prarol book I'm not sure if this was actually the first book she ever wrote. I think that was The Man in the Brown Suit, if I remember rightly. And I've also put in my... Um, and then they were non-bookmark. Um, I actually probably have got... I've got quite a few sort of Agatha Christie, Proroy bookmarks. But that was the first one I came on... Sort of came to hand. I think uh, The Man in the Brown Suit was actually the first Agatha Christie book correct me if I'm wrong so I have put that but I haven't started it but that's again like I say but I'm not giving myself any time limits I'm not saying oh you've got to have that finished this month you've got to I'm just I'm just relaxing with it I'm not putting pressure on myself hence with my reading all my videos I did start um it ends with us by Colleen Hoover I've never read Colleen Hoover before I had this I've had this on my shelf for quite a while and obviously has been prompted by the fact that the film has come out this weekend I think it was released yesterday and I thought Do you know get it read get it read I have heard mixed reviews um about Colleen Hoover's reading some people really love it 
other people don't and I think isn't it always sort of I'm not gonna say not problematic but there's always some drama with the characters they're not sort of soft lovey dovey novels that's my impression I get um and it just says sometimes the one you love is the one who hurts you the most now this is about Lily and she's she's worked hard for what she wants she lives in a small town she graduates from college moves to boston to start her own business i believe she meets a i'm going to say he's a neurosurgeon Go on, isn't it always the case when you're skim reading she meets yeah a neurosurgeon um and i presume that the relationship has problems with it um and she also then sort of somebody out of her past past relationship comes back into her life i think could be totally wrong um or it says when atlas suddenly reappears something lily has built is threatened it says with this bold and deeply personal novel um colleen hoover delivers a heart-wrenching story that breaks exciting new ground for her as a writer ends with those as an unforgettable tale of love that comes at the ultimate price so yes so i have picked this up i am up to page um eight and i do actually have um one of um victoria what victoria reds i think these are cat like they're cat ones i think they're the, like seasonal ones i think so yes so i'm reading that i have started that one some book well we'll go to this next so when i bought the um mug i also oh that's nice picked up a couple of bookmarks um purely so this mug is to do with macbeth and i just love the i've never read macbeth um but i just love that uh bookmark will these hands never be clean macbeth and like i say the mug also has a quote so i got that one just purely because i like the look of that one and i picked up the uh quickly dream away the time um midsummer night dream because i love midsummer night's dream um i but although my favorite one is taming of the shrew i love taming of the shrew and one of the things I love, i've watched in the past what i really like they did like a, a, a i want to see the bbc but like they did like modern versions of it um with oh gosh i can't remember who played the parts but it was about it was a, more about a politician and this arist aristocrat it was brilliant and it's one of those things i re-watch but i do love midsummer night's dream i've seen this one i saw a version with oh again memory bed bed um brain fog there's who johnny vegas played uh the ass it was anyway but anyway but so i love midsummer night's dream and i also as i say my favorite one is taming of the shrew and i have actually got somewhere some bookmarks because i got them when i went to london and went to the globe but yes i thought i'd show you them so what else is coming gosh this video is going to be long um i got which is a proper battered copy again this i bought second time but i only paid 70 pence plus postage from amazon again thought being actually i'm gonna look i'm sure i haven't got this book i'll be very annoyed if i have um i don't think i have got it already this is as i say a very battered copy but anyway i've got the forgotten bookshop in paris by daisy wood and i have started this i'm up to page 20 but like i said it's a bit battered the copy got it second hand from amazon um but then um again thought is read it get uh get rid of it actually put in the comments what would you do? see this is really battered so i wouldn't give that to a charity shop i think um I mean, can you put, presumably put books in a recycling box? I think that's what I'm going to do with it because I wouldn't, I wouldn't particularly give that away. I wouldn't put it on the shelf at work either. I think it's probably battered. So yes, but comment down below. What would you do with them? Um, again, this is a bit back. Like I say, it looks a bit, maybe somebody's been reading it in the bath. 
so this is set in Paris 1940 so just before the war and then we've also got modern day um this is somebody opens a bookshop which we've done and I can't think what you call his name um so why does it not say the war is closing in on the city of love when his wife's forced into hiding Oh, um, Jacqueline must stand by and watch, uh, watch as the Nazis take away everything he holds dear. Everything except his last, last beacon of hope, his beloved bookshop. Um, when, a, when a young woman and her child knock on the door one night and beg for re refuge, he, he knows his only option is to risk it all once more to save a life and then we've got Juliet and her husband are having a trip to Paris supposed to uh, France presumably Paris um for a dream getaway and so yeah so it's kind of but I'm really enjoying it I think it's going to be a page turner I have start actually started that one but that's come up my collection the two that I got from Waterstones I think these were the two in that anyway um very quickly i got the adventures of a huckleberry finn by mark twain got that because i had purchased james which is on the long long list for the booker prize and it was the only one i fancied some of the other ones i do but i would only get them from the library we'll see or i'm going to look at and see what the reviews say um and so this so you've got huckleberry finn this is the story from james's perspective who is obviously Gemma in the book and Gemma from oh gosh I can't think what you call Gemma's channel I will link it below um oh sorry the doorbell right, I'm back and probably out of breath because I've run up the stairs postman right so yes so I was saying James from the perspective of the servant or the slave um I've never read either of them and Gemma Books is it called? I can't recall I can see. She read Huckleberry Finn first and then James um, so I thought I'd do it that way although I think Charlie Brooke Reed said she didn't do it that way. Quickly what else have I got? I have got The Devil in the White Sea, Murder Magic and Madness in the Fair that Changed America, uh, Eric Larson now isn't this based on a true story is this fiction i think it's fiction i could be totally wrong please correct me if i am this is um set in chicago um 1893 it's a spellbinding best-selling entwines the tale of two men an architect um and it's something to do with the world fair so it's the world fair the world first wanting to secure the american dream or the, the american place in the world and a cunning serial killer who used the fair to lure his victims to their death so combining meticulous research with nail-biting storytelling ha right so ha he ha eric has crafted the, a narrative with all the wonder of a newly discovered of newly discovered history and the thrills of a best of the best fiction so yes i think it's loosely based on something that happened i had this on my um oh that's nice and of course i'll not be able to show it again um i had it on my wish for, wish list for ages so we've got there a picture so i'm pretty sure it's as i say based on and it'd been on my wish list for ages again I had uh, purchased it from Amazon so I've got that where we're putting that one because that right I put that there because that's I'm not reading that one at the moment I also got the spell shop by Sarah Beth uh, and we have Faraway Island, Secret Spell Shop, An Unexpected Romance. So there we go. Oh, lovely cup of coffee. Um, oh, somebody's put there, 
reading this bus was like book was like sitting in the sun watching bees in the fox grove and a warm peaceful delight of a novel you can almost smell the jam hear the ocean i finished this book with uh, the, i finished this book smiling so we've got the spell shop sweeps readers into the world of mare horses, uh, legal spells and first loves. It is, a comf it is as comforting as a homemade jam and a fresh baked muffin. So yes, love the cover. Um, don't, I've not looked at the hard, it's just like a hard cover. But I got that, I think it's a new release. So we are looking forward to that like i say and then the final thing oh sorry about that close-ups close-ups we have i bought and just because i like the look of the copies um the um noughts and crosses four books and i like the black i have got and of course that'll be probably up there i do believe it's up there i have got another version which i got from barter books um in Annick but uh i liked the black covers of these and I now have so hopefully i like the I, I didn't pay a lot i think i paid i think it was about 15 pound for the four new uh oh crumbs i nearly dropped them through them at you uh puffin copies and this isn't this about oh, crumbs, about the society where oh gosh which right right so i think which way around there was a series wasn't it so it's where I want to say roles are reversed because people shouldn't have roles in life anyway. But you've got the white community, the black community. I think the black community um, is the rulers. They run the world. The um, and it's a really well. It, it's a relationship love isn't it i think when the in a, uh, because their world is full of prejudice racism distrust and mounting terrorist violence despite this romance builds between the two friends so you've got like i say you have the uh black community i'm trying to say how with the, look what how they worded of society i'm probably thinking of um and then the white um and i think white are the um lower classes they're the the underdog i suppose um so we'll see we'll see so i'm looking forward to reading that i never ever saw the show right i feel this video is going to be long right so what's happened during the week nothing much kept working um i've been re-watching bridgerton over the last few weeks um watch bridgerton and queen charlotte but that's probably been over the last three or four weeks um i've been watching changing ends with alan Carr. do love that second series um I do like, I've been watching, uh, which I waited ages for it to come, to be screened in the UK, Elspeth, um, which she was in A Good Wife and The Good Fight. And I loved her character in that. She is a lawyer who's observing the police in, I'm going to say New York. Um, so I'm enjoying that. I think we've had about three episodes of that. So um, I'm just going to, normal weekend doing my washing doing my chores have i been what have, have i been, watched gavin reed's video um on youtube emily's she's recently had a holiday vlog and i think she had a wrap-up of a second part of her wrap-ups for july because she's been away she's had a book haul i think um i am a patreon of gavin so i've had one of like where we get early release of one of his videos and i was hysterical i was trying to watch it at work um on my lunch on my earpiece in and i just was laughing yeah i was so i 
I love Gavin to pick. He make. Do you know when I'm feeling down or I want cheering up, I watch one of Gavin's videos because, especially if for whatever reason he's drinking alcohol, he's just yeah. Well, I do feel he's. I mean, probably my um, favorite booktuber. I love watching Gavin. I find him so funny and his ideas and his production he does in his videos anyhow um so yes that's about it this is going to be a long video i do apologize if you have got to the end of this video please do give me the i think it's a prayer um emoji and that's purely because i know certainly here as i film we are the 10th of august and there's rumors of the riots coming to um the nearby city in fact the city i work in newcastle um so yes let's have a prayer that they don't happen um and please be safe if this you know these things happening in your cities your towns you know look after yourself there's some horrible people in the world um who just use any excuse for violence and so yes so please stay safe um so yes i am gonna go as i said I'm, i must apologize this is a very long video with the interruption of chris the parcel man delivering a parcel for me yes take care and i'll see you hopefully fingers crossed in another video and a bit of a catch up of what I've been reading. Bye bye.